Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video. Well, today we're gonna to do another time saver. I'm gonna show you a method to create um, pieces of armor, clothing, that kind of thing, literally in seconds, right? Now, for that, I need a model uh, and uh, I'm gonna get one from the content browser. So we're gonna go up to Windows. We're gonna to go to content browser. We're gonna open that up and then under modeling, and this is on the examples tab under modeling and then under sculpting base meshes and under bipeds we got this guy simply gonna double click it we're gonna scroll down you can make it smaller if you like it doesn't really matter but just so it's a bit easier to navigate around I have to frame that we're gonna hit four for wireframe so this is our guy right now let's say we want to have some sort of I don't know, band around his head or his waist or his wrist, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the modeling toolkit. We're gonna go to the multi-cut tool and let's start with something around his head. Now, for that, I wanna be in this view because I wanna make sure that I'm positioned correctly. We're gonna go in here. I'm just gonna hit five seconds, so see how high that should be, somewhere around here, I would say. Hit four again. And I'm gonna take the multi-cut tool and let's drag that over something like this. And as you see, it created that line right there. Okay, cool. Q on the keyboard, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna to go to edge mode, we're gonna double click on this guy, make sure we got the right one. That's the one, yeah. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to uh, modify. We're gonna go to convert. We're gonna go to poly edges to curves. And we're gonna select that, right? And as you can see, that was successful. Now, the next thing we're gonna do with that edge selected, and as you can see, it is now a separate object that's separated from the mesh, and that's what we want, right? So with that selected, we're gonna go up to, and I think, I think it's uh, here, yeah it is. On the crate, we're gonna go to Sweep Mesh and we're gonna click on that. Now you're gonna see something very funky, like what is going on? Don't worry about it. We're gonna hit five so you can see what's going on there. And then in our attribute editor here, we can change the scale and everything else. So let's go in here. Let's say that's the scale profile I want, right? What I can do is I can, uh, for example, change the distribution. Uh, let's say I want it to be some kind of twisted thing. Uh, I got five instances right here. I can go to, for example, twist and start to twist that, which will give us something like this, as you can see, right? And you can scale that size if you want, make it bigger, make it smaller. You can even go something like that. But the cool thing is you can also do this as, um, I don't know, let's say a, um, a belt that's holding uh, a sword, for example, right? So we're gonna go back in here and we're gonna go to our multi-cut tool again and we're gonna take the multi-cut and then you might wanna do something like, come on. Oh, okay, sorry, have to be that selected first. Something like this. All right, we're gonna repeat the steps again. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna go to edge. We're gonna select this guy. We're gonna go up to uh, modify, convert, poly edge to uh, curve. There you go. And then again, we're gonna go up to uh, create and sweep mesh. We're gonna go in here again. We're gonna change that skill bring it down quite a bit something like this and let's say you're happy with that from this point what you can do is simply just modify it right so if you want to uh, have more sides for example you can uh, increase that if you want to change the shape you could go in here and turn it into more of a rectangular shape and then you can change the width and the height and all that right so it's very, very useful. And um, yeah, the cool thing is, it is a complete separate object and it has a clean mesh as well. So I can literally take this and let's go to modify and center pivot. I can literally take it and just move it over, right? 
One thing you do have to remember though, is once you're happy with whatever you created, that you go up to uh, edit and delete by type and history. So now if you delete this curve right here, this guy, you won't lose your object, okay? So yeah, that's the trick I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, like I said, you can use it for all sorts of things headband, uh, wrist armor, uh, I don't know, uh, a leash, uh, anything and everything, right? So be creative with that, have some fun with it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you use it for. I uh, really wanna know, and that said, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.